Researchers have come up with some findings about the stuff we drink and its impact on our teeth. Jay-Z is still at the dentist's office this morning. She has some surprising news. Jay-Z. Would you believe, guys, that the average person drinks about 12 cans of soda per week? And a lot of those people are children and teenagers. And they're the ones who are most prone to tooth decay and damage to tooth enamel. So the, the word is that you really have to watch your soda consumption. And with us this morning is Dr. Stephen Marcus, once Hi, again, Janet. dentist here in Hen Heights. Good morning. So all kinds of sodas are damaging or some worse some than others? Some are worse than others. Surprisingly, root beer turned out to be almost equivalent to water. But, really? Yes. And ginger ale as well. I think ginger ale right. also. Okay. Uh, but Mountain Dew was the biggest culprit. It, it just eats away tea so fast, it's unbelievable. Is that because it's got a high amount of caffeine or no, sugar? No, it, it's the acid that's in the, in, the, in the soda and the preservatives that they put in the soda that they feel make it more, uh, it, it dissolves teeth a lot faster than, say, Coke or, do, or, or Dr. Pepper, which also are bad for your teeth. Yeah, because you're thinking, you know, if it's bad for your teeth, what is it doing to the stomach lining? Uh, well, to show you what it does to the stomach lining, what I did last night was I put a penny. Now, both of these pennies were the same color. I put this penny in Diet Coke overnight. And look at what it did wow, to the penny. Wow, overnight. Overnight. Just so if it's doing that for the tarnish on a penny, what's yeah. it doing to your teeth? What's it doing to the lining of your stomach? I knew you'd get your two cents in. I just knew. <laughs> I was going to ask you yeah, well, for your thoughts. But here, here's two cents. That is amazing. A great example. What about sports drinks? Sports drinks are 20% sugar. So they also uh, have an effect on teeth. The, the acidity combined with the sugar makes it just that much worse. The study did not take sports drinks into, a, into account. Uh, but what it did show was that Mountain Dew and Sprite were absolutely the worst. And what you need to do is if your kids are drinking soda, they need to drink it quickly and they need to rinse their mouths after they're done to reduce the acidity of the mouth. Okay, and you have uh, iced tea here. Uh, obviously, that iced can stain tea, the tea. Iced tea was also up there really? um, with, the, uh, with the Mountain Dew and with the Sprite. Interesting. And so how do you get kids off of this? I know, first of all, you do have a laser we should talk about because this can uh, alleviate some of the problems. Well, the old way of looking for decay is passe. Dentists who are still looking for decay with explorers and mirrors are using 20, uh, 18th century technology. We now use a laser which measures the hardness or softness of the tooth. So it'll let us know earlier on when a tooth is decaying and you can get the decay so much easier. This is called the diagonal dent laser. So the question is, how do you get kids off of sodas, which is, sounds impossible. Would you have any uh, well, suggestions you know, on what they can do to kind of keep Unfortunately, the schools are now, when we went to school, there was, no, there was never soda in school. If you had soda at lunchtime, it was because your mother packed it for you. And I know my mother never packed me soda because she was aware that yeah. soda caused decay. I think parents have become a little blasé nowadays and think that dentistry can solve everything. But the problem is that cavities in young children and adolescents is at epidemic proportion. There are more kids with those diseases than there are asthma or hay fever. Wow, so you can say a lot of it has to do with sugar. Oh, it's sugar. essentially, and diet soda is just as bad as regular soda. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, another enlightening segment from Dr. Romo. My pleasure. Thanks, guys. Watch your soda intake. Yes. Thank you.